Hey guys, today we are making YouTube's most viewed and popular ice cream recipe. Welcome back to my channel, Never Tasted Better. I don't think I know one single person that does not like ice cream. My husband, he likes to surprise me every once in a while and he brings home the tubs of the Ben & Jerry's. However, lately I've been trying to get into making my own homemade ice cream. So the other day I was trying to find a good homemade vanilla ice cream recipe. Guys, there are so many ice cream recipes out there. I was so overwhelmed. They all look so delicious. I didn't know where to begin. So I decided to go on YouTube, type in the word ice cream, and make the first recipe that pops up. The first recipe to pop up was this homemade ice cream in five minutes. This recipe was made by a man named Jerry James Stone. That's also the name of his YouTube channel, so go check him out. He made this recipe five years ago and it has 24 million views. I am so excited to see how this ice cream recipe turns out. Make sure you watch the video through to the very end because I'm gonna give you my full thoughts and review of his recipe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it and let Let's get started. Jerry's ingredients are simple for this recipe. We need some whole milk, heavy cream, pure vanilla extract, some rock salt or ice cream salt, sugar, and also lots of ice. A small Ziploc bag with a zipper, also a larger Ziploc bag, this one doesn't need a zipper, and a dishcloth. Jerry starts out by pouring his whole milk, his heavy cream, and adding our sugar and pure vanilla extract in a large measuring cup. Whisk this together really well that sugar likes to lay on the bottom, so make sure you get it up. He then grabbed the smaller Ziploc bag with the zipper and poured in this dairy mixture. Be careful with this part, it's a little tricky. Your bag is going to be very full. Zip it up tightly and set this aside. In our larger Ziploc bag, we're supposed to fill the bottom up very generously with ice. Next, pour in half a cup of that rock salt and then add your dairy mixture. Pour the remaining rock salt in and add a bunch more ice. This is essentially creating an ice cream machine. It's pretty cool. I tried to get the air out of the bag and I sealed it up really well. I didn't want rock salt and ice flying everywhere. In Jerry's video, he wrapped a dishcloth around the bag. This was a smart move because it gets really cold. Now the shaking process can begin. We're going to shake this ice cream for five minutes straight. Now in his video, he did say if you wanted your ice cream a little firmer, to shake it a little longer than five minutes. So I did shake it for about eight to nine minutes straight. My arms were so tired after this. I need to lift weights or something. I took the ice cream out of the bag and it's still extremely soft. So I'm adding more ice cubes and yes, I'm going to have to shake this for a little longer. So after another five minutes of shaking, I took the ice cream out of the bag and it was slightly firmer, but it was still extremely like soft serve ice cream. I put this guy in the freezer for 15 minutes. After it had its time in the freezer, it's slightly firmer, so I'm going with it. I poured half of this in a bowl, topped it off with some delicious looking rainbow sprinkles and pretzels. I love pretzels with vanilla ice cream. This looks so creamy. I can't wait to try this. I'm ready to try this 15 to 20 minute ice cream. <laughs> I mean five minute ice cream. This melts really fast, so I better take a bite real quick before it's all gone. Mmm, wow. That has a great vanilla flavor. I think that pure vanilla extract is the key in this recipe. Overall, this recipe was okay. It does not take five minutes to shake though. It takes much longer. This is a very delicious vanilla ice cream though, so I'm going to give this a score of eight. The recipe took much longer than the guy said it would. I would totally make this recipe again though. It tastes delicious and it goes great with sprinkles and pretzels. Let me know down below in the comments what other popular recipes you would like to see me try. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.